What's up guys, Adam here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install a soft start kit on your air conditioning unit and also going to be going over a few of the advantages to putting one on your air conditioner. But before we get into that, I want to invite everyone to hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so yet or you're new to the channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos that I have coming out really soon. And if you find the information in the, this video to be helpful to you, or maybe it helps you make a decision, uh, please also give it a thumbs up down below. So one of the main reasons why I'm going to be putting a soft start kit on my air conditioning unit is because we get a lot of hurricanes throughout the years and can leave us without power for a long time. So I want to have the ability to be able to run my whole house on a portable generator. And because my unit's a four ton air conditioning unit, it draws a lot of power. So we had to find a way to cut that power down. There are going to be some people out there asking why not just put a hard start kit on it? Why are you putting a soft start kit on it? Well, a hard start kit and a soft start kit work quite a bit differently. A hard start kit is going to give a real big boost of power to the compressor to get it to kick on a lot faster so that that initial big draw of amperage is shortened. Whereas a soft start kit slowly ramps up the power to the compressor and then therefore using a lot less power. And I also like the idea that since it's powering it up slowly, it's a little bit easier on the compressor and should allow for the compressor to last uh, a, lo a lot longer. The soft start kit that I'm going to be installing today is a Micro Air soft start kit. And I did a lot of research between this particular kit and some of the other soft start kits that are out there. And after doing all my research and looking at a lot of reviews, a lot of people were really recommending this one in comparison to other soft start kits that they had used in the past. Let's go ahead and get started on the installation of this and let's see how it performs. All right, so what we're gonna be installing is this Micro Air Easy Start Soft Start Kit. It is the 368 model, and it is for units up to four tons, which this unit is four tons. And there are four wires that are connected to this box that need to be connected then in the air conditioning unit. And since everybody's situation will be different uh, as far as where you mount this box, Micro Air says that it can be installed on the outside. It doesn't have to be in the AC unit. A lot of people installed on the outside. It, this box is considered weatherproof, which just feeling it, it definitely feels like it's going to be more than capable of keeping the elements out like rain. Now, just because it's weatherproof doesn't mean that you could take like a pressure washer to it. You know, if you're forcing water in, it, it may get in and could damage it. So it is weatherproof, but I would probably say it's definitely not um, pressure washer proof. So if you can fit it inside of here, I guess all the power to you, it would be out of the elements even more. Uh, I don't know why you couldn't put it in there, but this is, a, this is a pretty big box. So I know a lot of people mount it on the outside. I'm going to be mounting it over here on the wall, which is right below the main electrical panel that is coming from the house and powering this AC unit. So all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the installation instructions. All right, so now that we've got our cover off, one of the first things we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get a measurement of what our current inrush amps are to the compressor without having the soft start kit installed. And so then at the end of the video, after everything's installed, we can take a measurement again and see how much the soft start kit has lowered those inrush amps uh, that are being required to go to the compressor. So let's do that now. All right, so as you can see here, our current max inrush amps are 73.7 and that's without the soft start kit. And it's currently running, or running amps are at about 12. So let's go ahead and install the soft start kit and see if we can't get that number to come down. 
All right, so the very first step we need to take is to disconnect the power from the house to the air conditioner. So something that the kit does not come with that you're going to have to get, and I think that Microware sells a, a installation kit. I'm not sure about that, but I think I saw that. Uh, but if not, you can also go to your local hardware store or automotive store, and you're going to need to buy some uh, of these terminal uh, attachments. Uh, I've got mine wired up with the attachments that I'm going to need for this air conditioning unit, but everybody's situation uh, could be different. So. Uh, with that being said, let's get into the first wire installation, and that's going to be this orange wire here, and it's going to attach to this terminal, which is your my Herm terminal, and with the connection that's on there, it's just going to go, and it's just going to slide right on. All right, so now that we've got our orange wire attached to the Herm terminal, the next step is going to be with uh, involving the brown wire, but before we connect it to anything, we need to find our compressor run wire. And in most cases, it's going to be on your contactor on the right side over here. It's going to be a thick gauge wire. And the way you can figure out if that's the correct wire is you look at your compressor and see which wire is connected to it and then uh, is then connected to your contactor here. And so in this case, it's this front one, and in most cases, it will be the front one over here on the right, which is screwed in. So we need to unscrew that. So let's do that now. All right, so now that we have our run wire disconnected, this run wire is then going to have to be spliced to the brown wire on the soft start kit so i'm going to have to get this clipped off and then connected to this brown wire all right so now that we have cut the old terminal connection off of it and strip back the insulation on it we can take our brown wire and splice it together with the yellow wire All right, so now that our brown wire and our compressor run wire are connected together, we're going to take the white wire here, and that's going to go where our compressor run wire was, that yellow compressor run wire. So this white wire is going to take its place. All right, so now that our white wire is hooked up to where our original compressor run wire was hooked up. The last wire to hook up is this black one. And it is going to go on the other side of the contactor uh, opposite from where we just put the white wire. It's going to go on this side where all the black wires are. And so we're just going to remove this screw and put it on top of uh, the other black wire there. So now that all the wires have been installed, now we can test it out and we can uh, start running our air conditioning unit. The soft start is going to need to go through a process of learning the system. And it does this through, I believe it's uh, five starts of the compressor. It learns the system. So let's go ahead and start it up now. And there's the fan kicking on. And the compressor kicked on and 31.6 amps. So that is what we were looking for.
and it's getting about seven to eight amps running so that improved a little bit as well all right guys so that's pretty much all there is to installing a soft start kit on your air conditioning unit and we saw some pretty dramatic results we went from an original inrush amperage on the compressor of about i think it was 72 amps and after installing the micro air soft start kit on the uh, air conditioner it dropped it all the way down to 31 to 32 amps so that's a huge difference in the how much amperage that compressor is pulling to get it started up and that's going to really allow for me to be able to run my whole house on my generator power which was my goal and it's also going to improve the longevity of my compressor down the road so it doesn't need to be replaced as quickly and a lot of people might still be wondering well maybe i can still get away with a hard start kit because a hard start kit is a lot less expensive you can buy them on amazon i've seen them for 30 to 40 dollars depending on the tonnage of your air conditioning unit whereas this particular soft start kit which there's a bunch of them out there but this one i after doing a lot of research seemed to be the best one after buying it with the shipping and everything it was about 325 dollars so there's a big difference between 325 dollars and 40 dollars and if the hard start kit you think is going to work well enough for your air conditioning unit to do what you want to do then by all means go ahead and do that i just felt like the soft start kit i know that they they lower the amperage draw more than a hard start kit will do it makes sense to me that they're going to also improve the life expectancy of my compressor and so sometimes for me anyway it's worth paying a little bit more money or in this case quite a bit more money for something that you feel is better or higher quality so that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions that i didn't cover in the video please leave them down below and i'll respond to them or any comments that you have i'll respond to those as well and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up down below and please also consider subscribing to the channel if you like how to and do it yourself videos for around your house and property i have one coming out at least once a week so please consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next video